All right, uh, we're about to uh, start getting established for uh, runway six at San Bernardino. It's right, uh, right at our nine o'clock low. Uh, if you look on the uh, ND, you'll see uh, an interesting uh, approach pattern. That's that's because uh, just east of the runway, there's a whole bunch of mountains that uh, slope the uh, glide slope. So uh, there's no such thing as a runway on the uh, a landing on the uh, reciprocal heading run of the runway. So it's going to be an interesting approach. Um, we're at 10,000 feet now. It's time to go ahead and turn on the lights. Get the logo lights for now. Uh, weather's not going to be a factor, so I'll just turn on terrain for the uh, FO. Weather uplink. Uh, we got winds at 250 at 4, so we're going to have a tailwind. Uh, Terminator 2, 9, or 8, 8 is set on all three. We'll go ahead and uh, draw a three nautical mile fix around the, uh, no, I'm sorry, not a three, a 15 fix around the airport. Sorry, I can't type. All right, so we should be at around, uh, given the uh, field elevation, 1100, should be at around uh, 6,100 feet. And what I'm going to do now, actually, is a wind shift. Take advantage of that. Um, we'll change it here. I'll open the spoiler so we can kind of truncate this descent a little bit. Because we're going to be a little bit high for what I'm trying to do. Alright, so I'll put the uh, MCP for our give or take reference uh, altitude 6100. Got our VORs programmed. Uh, take a look at the uh, approach plate. We should be getting off uh, Alpha 2 and Echo and then uh, finding our way to the terminal right over here. So uh, it's going to look like this. Um, RNAV 6. Yeah. So we'll be uh, circling around here and uh, intercepting the uh, RNAV path. At uh, this one right here, I don't, I don't want to pronounce that. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get on heading select. And I'm going to bank it about 20 degrees or maybe 10 degrees left for uh, yeah, 20 degrees left for spacing. Thousand to go. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set it for four thousand for our intersection here for uh, final. Beautiful night lighting, man. This, this is why I don't play P3D or anything. Just although the 737 isn't quite PMDG, it's good enough. And when you add the environment and the uh, dynamics that X-Plane has to offer. It's just a overall better experience than the PMDG and P3D. It really is. Uh, we'll center the display. Alright. So we're right where we should be. Uh, we'll go ahead and spin it around. Low cap announcement, got all the lights out right now, get that out the way. So there's PDZ, we're gonna be uh, a little bit uh, east of that, or north of that. Uh, we're looking good. That's me go. Track it back to LNAV, and uh, we're about to hold, so we'll uh, use that to our advantage to slow down to about 200 knots. 210 will do us fine, and we'll close the spoilers too. All right, and matter of fact, we'll put it back on VNAV, uh, speed intermediate.
And we're uh, we're established for uh, final pretty much. Uh, match the uh, runway heading. Look at our ground track. Uh, zero five matter. So yeah, very uh, entertaining approach. Uh, I've never landed at San Bernardino before, but uh, it'll be very uh, exciting. So we got visual on the runway down over there. It's 15 miles, uh, look good. When we go around, we're gonna have to uh, take into account the uh, terrain. Because as mentioned before, uh, there's a reason why they don't land on the uh, other end of the runway. I've been on this uh, highway before. That's Highway 10 right there. Alright, so uh, there's our GPS vertical path. We're about to intercept it. It's alive. So as soon as we intercept that, I'll uh, put the flaps down and put the uh, VNAV back to off-speed intervene. And I'll set the MCP for field elevation 1100. So, 480 feet to go. 2,500. All lined up. And we'll be coming in 140 knots. The ref is selected for flap 30. Uh, manual braking checked. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, disconnect the autopilot right now. take care of the uh, auto throttles too All right. and uh, my aircraft here we go uh, we'll just go ahead and select flaps 5 for now there's the uh, lift component once the uh, trailing edges come out we're going to start seeing some floating trimming those down to compensate We'll uh, aim for flap 5 speed. Green bar on the runway on the ND. We're going to be able to make it. Looking good. A little hot. Such a beautiful city at night. 2500. A little bit of up trip now. A little bit high, so a little bit. Alright, give it flap 10. Once we get to flap 15, we're gonna get the horn, so uh, put the gear down at 1500 feet. And we'll aim to be configured for landing at 800 feet AGL. Put the gear down now. Gear down. Looking for 3 green. A little bit of power. There's three green. And spoiler arm waiting for uh, flap 15 now. And actually, uh, I want to get configured for landing nice and early, so we'll go ahead and put the flap 30 down. Flap 30 check, gear down, three green, spoiler armed, and uh, everything's all breathed. But checklist is complete. Alright, a little bit of power to keep us fever plus five. Nice and smooth stick inputs. No center line lights, so uh, we're gonna have to be a little keen on our instruments here. Thousand AGO. Looks like we're a little high visually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down a little bit. Looks like our glide slope's a little bit off, so I'll keep it about one dot low. I can kind of eyeball it and see it. So right about here is good. Maybe for uh, minus 700 here. Five looking outside the cockpit, not looking anywhere else. Periodically uh, glancing down. 400. We're just fine. Got a little bit of a wind gust there. 
There's the uh, lights. Two hundred. All right. Aim for thirty feet at the two. One hundred. Here we go. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Stay on the center line. Alright. Smooth brakes. Going uphill, that, that helps with the brakes. Eyes outside the cockpit for our taxiway. And there's 60, cut the reverse. And, uh, and that's it. Welcome to San Bernardino. It's my first time landing here ever. Up pretty early actually. And manual braking took care of us pretty well. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, clean up the aircraft. Flaps up. So that was 39 minutes of uh, air time roughly from Vegas. Alright, well, uh, since this, uh, this Simulation of the 737 doesn't automatically put the uh, transponder to TA only when you get on the ground. We got to do it manually. We'll clean up the aircraft. Uh, look for our taxiway. And uh, pedo uh, lights, uh, pedo heating off or load shedding for the APU gen. Close the spoilers. All right. Well, uh, I appreciate the uh, if you stick around for this long. Uh, hope to see you again. Hope you enjoyed the landing. I sure did.